Hey guys, today I am making my own birthday cake. I know that might sound a little bit lame, but I really love making my own cakes because then I get to choose whatever I want. This year I'm going to be making a butterfly cake. Vanessa means butterfly and I just really love everything butterflies. So I thought it would be really cool to do a monarch inspired butterfly cake, but it does have a bit of fantasy colors going on. I think this is going to be a lot of fun to make and I can't wait to show you guys how. So the first thing I did was bake a 10 inch square cake. I used one and a half batches of my vanilla bean and rose water cake recipe and I will add the details below for you so that you can link over and check that out. I also have some of our sweet buttercream made up. I have some almost white, purples, I have a couple of blues and I have a black and a grey. I'm going to be using this grey to create a shadow effect around the side of the cake. I could have also gone for a black, but the idea of having black teeth on my birthday really didn't appeal to me. So I thought I'd make it a nice deep grey and that way it will kind of mimic a shadow. I've also got some piping bags, piping tips and couplers. Again, I'll leave all the details in the description box below so that you know everything that you're going to need to make this cake. I have a scraper, some knives for cutting, some spatulas. I also have a tiny flower vial and some wire as well as some black floral tape and some wire cutters. These are going to be used so that we can make some really cute antennas coming out of our butterfly. Over here I have our monster cake leveler. I love using this, it makes everything so much easier. So I'm going to use that to cut the cakes. I have my turntable to work on. I also have a large square black cake board to place the cake back onto. Some tape and scissors to go along with my template. Now for my template, I have printed out a monarch butterfly and then I've enlarged them. So that's why they're over two pages. And I'm gonna first show you how to create our template. So the first thing I wanna do is just cut these so that they can join up together a little better. Now I wanna join these up. Now you wanna go ahead and tape all of this. And then you want to flip it over and do the same. Now once that's done, you want to go ahead and just cut it up. Now I'm just going to curve the head because it is a little bit hard to get that much detail out of carving the cake. All right, now that's done, it's time to take our cake and we're going to cut it into two layers. take a quick look and just see how much we're going to be able to get out of one. So I think if we cut this on a diagonal, okay, so we're going to take our first one. This one lines up really well. We're going to start cutting off the excess. Now I want to keep all of the excess. Cut off a nice big chunk and then trim up the details. And just add a little bit here for the rest of the body and add that right here. Now the reason why I've kept these really big is that I want to get a little bit of lift, particularly on this one right here. And just cut that at a diagonal and you'll see what I'm doing in just a minute. Okay, now I'm going to remove everything from the board, put my first ones down and then just attach them with a little bit of buttercream and together. Now I'm going to do a nice coat on this and this is going to act as a filling layer for the ones that have two cakes and as a bit of a thick crumb coat for the rest. Now we can stack these up. Now this might look a little bit strange at the moment, but we're gonna allow this to set in the fridge for about 10 minutes. So now what I'm gonna do is slowly shave this down. I want it to be where the top part of the butterfly, the bit that's poking up is right here, and then fade that down. So I'm gonna start here. Just get rid of a little bit.
Now we're gonna allow this cake to have another 10 minutes in the fridge to chill. So now I wanna go around and do a crumb coat in our shadow gray color, just along the sides of the cake. So once you apply it on, you wanna come back and scrape off the excess. Now I'm gonna get the excess off the top and then I'm gonna do a crumb coat to the top. Now I'm gonna work on the sides of the cake again and this time I'm gonna do a little bit thicker coat. Now don't stress about coming over the top just a little bit because we do have our black right at the very edge of this design. Taking our scraper again, just scrape a little bit off. So I'm gonna smear this up just to get it out of the way. Now when it comes to the top, the first bit I wanna work on is the inside section. So just past the body, I wanna add a little bit of dark blue. Do the same for the other side. And then I wanna come along with our lighter blue. Now our darker purple. And lastly, our light purple. Don't worry about going all the way to the edge because we have some black there, like I said. Now I'm gonna keep some paper towel handy and I'm gonna start in the center and really carefully drag it out. And then come back in. And this is when it really starts to come together. Scrape any little bits that went over the edge. So now I'm gonna take number 10 tip and using some black buttercream, I'm gonna come along and work on the body first. So I wanna create a nice head and then come around for a body. And just fill that in. Now I'm gonna come along the edge and then come all the way in. Come up. So now I'm gonna come along the bottom. And then stop. Up here I wanna come up just a little. And now I'm gonna to switch to my number three tip, which is a fair bit smaller. And I'm gonna come along and just mark that out. And come up here. And then break off. this a little bit thicker or you could change out and get a number five tip for that don't worry if the line breaks One more. I want to come around here and add some little bellowing sections. For these larger sections, I'm going to come back with my number 10. Last but not 
not least, I'm going to be going around with some white as well as some pale blue to create some little dots on the edges. Some little dashes. And now with the blue, I've got a number three tip. The last thing I'm going to work on is the antennas. So I have some wire cutters. I'm going to cut these down to size. These are about three inches because it will need to go in a little bit. I'm going to add some black floral tape to this. Now technically if you wrap these you can place them into a cake but just to be on the safe side and to be on the food safety side I'm going to be placing them into a tiny little flower vial that will fit just them. Hide that under there. And it looks like they're just popping out of nowhere. And there you go guys, this is my butterfly birthday cake. Thank you so much for joining me in this lesson. I really enjoy making sculpted cakes like this. I know that this isn't too sculpted, but I love it when you can carve a cake and still use yummy buttercream. If you'd like to check out more cool cakes, be sure to check out this playlist right here. We have all of our newest videos in one playlist for you and subscribe to our channel because we have new videos on Tuesdays and Fridays.